Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to my weekly Division Rivals and Foot Champions for Wars video. Luckily, some might say, I decided to stop at Gold 3 this weekend because I just couldn't, didn't have the motivation to play into Gold 2 because if League of League team this season isn't going to fit into my squad, so I wasn't that bothered about going all out to get the three extra wins because I had no motivation to. So I got Gold 3, and I think I got Rank 3 because I didn't play any Division Rivals really that much, so we go Option 2. Obviously we go Tradable. Uh, yeah, we got rank 3. If I played some Division Ravels last night, I probably could have got rank 2 realistically, but I just couldn't not be bothered. And Gold 3 for the Champions Award. So as always, we'll go straight in with the Foot Champs players. Let's see what we can get. Um, do you know what? We're going to take, it may be a bit of a controversial choice, I'm going to avoid that Cruiser because I've got his League SBC card. I'm going to actually take, just trying to think who I've got. From La Liga. I think I need a right winger. So we're going to take Gerard Moreno. And then, for the second player pick, we will take... That Gruel Hermes got a really nice card. Foster skill moves. He's got decent stats. 99 agility. No, it's very tempting, but I don't particularly need him. In terms of La Liga players, I think I'm going to take Lucas Perez. Why not? We'll go with Lucas. So, you know, we get decent rewards. It's not, not nothing amazing, but it's okay. So we'll finish it off as always with the packs. Um, they, realistically, those foot champs rewards could have been better, but they could have been a hell of a lot worse. I could have got no La Liga players at all. Uh, the, Liga, the Liga players will come in useful for La Liga icon swaps. I need one more icon swap to finish the pack. So, we'll give you a little bit soon. Um, just keep an eye out the back. I'm also going to maybe try and stream a bit more on Twitch, possibly. So, um, if you want to keep an eye out for that, uh, go to the Josh Blumberg 1234 on Twitch. watch me stream in the future. Uh, we've got nothing so far. I'm looking for, realistically, La Liga Silvers to put in, or sorry, La Liga Santander Silvers to put into the upgrade packs. But we haven't, we've only got, we've got a couple so far. So we're going to the Mega Pack next. These are all tradable as well, so anything we do get is a bonus. So let's go forward. Get into the Italian, probably Jorginho. <laughs> We are about to complete the Premier League SBC as well to get Harry Maguire. So all these cards will come in handy to go around to recon put them out. We'll just send everything to the transfer list and I'll sort out later. Um, just for now, it's just easier to... For video's sake, just to go straight through the packs. It's another board or a water. It's another board. It's going to be too fantastic. It's not. It's going to be seven million people. I don't think I've packed it this year, interestingly. Um, it's one of them cards that's quite rare. So we'll take in Benega, good for the league for the SPC. Some decent players in there for the SPC purposes. And we get Nesta, the manager as well. Also, it's an icon card, obviously. Mega pack number three. Not a bother. There's always one mega pack that isn't a bod or a walkout. Hopefully for some La Liga, we do get ugh, only one La Liga rare, so it's not, not ideal, but screw it. And we finish things off, as always, with a 50k pack. What can we get? Can we get at least a bod or a walkout? Yes, we can. It's a walkout. It's French. It's a golf club, it's going to be cute in a race. It's nothing special, but it is an 8-year-old game. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you haven't enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.